something ahead. See, lad, he's fine. Thought it best to vanish when Thor's idiot sons showed up. Let's get to it. I say so. Myself. Now don't be a stranger. Would you focus on your damn job? You quit that shit. I mean it. I look away. Maybe. Uncle hasn't seen straight in years. As long as father believes him, so do we. Focus and help me find this. Hurry, brother. We may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. This fight is mine, boy. Go! And where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Don't tell me! I can't remember the last time you were a challenge. Oh, you call this a challenge? I'll take the big one. Us. What does Odin want? Don't know. Don't care. Come here, happy breed. You done that daddy's head. Shut up! Don't call me that! Can't believe you've lasted this long. Those skinny little arms can barely do I said shut up! Calm yourself, boy. Looks like we need another lesson. More than happy to teach, brother.
Grind me! Yeah. Yeah. The trap you are found. Shut it out! Yeah. Hold it! Yeah. Yeah. There's no key back there!
He's sick. He needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? We should keep an eye on him. With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim. Get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked. Like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. Killed 
Magni. That he did. He was a god. But you killed him. Minor Aesir, perhaps. But I. And his father is Thor. Not minor. Not minor at all, him. This will not go over well in Asgard. I defended us. Nothing more. I fear no judgment. Judgment, no. But if vengeance is any concern. Since when can you kill a god? <coughs> I have more information on that whetstone I Wait, mentioned earlier. we were here before. But which way back? Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed into the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <laughs> Another treasure hunt? Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that wet stuff. Plus, the Reaver's son. He murdered his father. I don't think the lad's doing too well. I'm fine. Nothing to worry about. If so, then keep up. Yes, sir. Magni didn't come back to life. That is interesting. It's known the Aesir find their own way to Valhalla. No Valkyrie escort, no processing at the gates of Helheim. That may be significant. Fishermen would bring the day's catch into this port and use that contraption to send some of it directly to the Jarl's main kitchen. The rest were sorted and sold. There is an exit under the thumb. There's a path to the exit on the other side. Under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think Mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. Thanks. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Jotunheim, so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Alas, no. 
But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden boat is very much in reach. The door beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. It seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Hey, Mimir. Last we were in a boat, and we just started a story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <sighs> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy. A certain Vanir goddess. Legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. 